Hi guys, Brick McBricksworth here. I'm going to go through my top 10 Lego sets of 2020. Here goes. In at number 10. And we go back all the way to January for this one. Now this one is amazing. It is the Birch Book Store. It's a really cool modular. You can split the base plate into two. It just looks so good. I love the use of the colours and everything. And the Birch Tree looks so good outside. A worthy top 10 contender. In at number 9. We've got the Nintendo Entertainment System, and this one is so cool because the TV rotates around the little scene where the Mario is jumping up and down on the level as if you're actually playing a real Nintendo Entertainment System. And it's just so cool. It looks so good on that 80s style retro TV. And then you've got the console itself where the game cartridge goes inside. There's a little hidden feature, but I won't give that away in this video. And then you've got the controller that just looks so cool on the actual thing as well. Overall, proper good set and well deserved in this top 10. In at number 8, the LEGO Star Wars UCS A-Wing. And right from the start, when you look at the box with that black background, it just screams Ultimate Collector's Series. The box art is phenomenal. The attention to detail in the set is phenomenal. It is... In the perfect colour, in my opinion, the red and white, like we saw first originally in the original trilogy, this set is definitely a worthy contender for the 8th place of 2020. In at number 7, we have the Ninjago Destiny's Bounty. Now, by rights, this one should be near the top of a top 10 list, because this one is not LEGO's first attempt at this one. This is the latest one, and they've got it right. It's very, very well done. Now, with it being Ninjago, you have to like Ninjago and get the concept of Ninjago to go for this set. But, in my opinion, definitely worthy of the number seven slot. At number six, the one and only Mandalorian Razorcrest. This one is so cool, if not a little bit short-lived by Disney with what happens in the Mandalorian but still an epic set nonetheless. Now you get some decent minifigures with this one. You get Grief Karga, you get IG-11, you get the Mandalorian in his original armor, not the Beskar armor, and you get a mini mini figure of the child. So all around, a really, really good set and a very popular set in at number six. And we've reached the halfway point at number five. So smashing its way up the table to the number 5 spot is the Creator 3 in 1 Pirates ship. Now this one is so cool because it brings it back to the nostalgic Lego feel of the Pirates. And the fact that it's a 3 in 1 set where all 3 sets are really, really good. And the ship in itself is just phenomenal. And it's got the brick built sails so you don't have to worry about your sails getting damaged over time. Maybe a little sun damage on the white pieces but they're replaceable. So, all in all, a really, really good set and definitely worthy of top five for 2020. Only just missing out on the top three at number four, we have the 1989 Batwing. Now, this is, oh, just, it's so cool. This, the profile on the wings looks just so amazing. The Detail is just spectacular. It is just in every way an absolutely amazing set. But the problem is this year, LEGO have brought out so many amazing sets. And unfortunately, this one just, just didn't make the top three. In at number three, we have the fabulous Harry Potter set. Diagon Alley. This one is just, again, amazing. The array you get with this set is unbelievable. There is so many buildings, so much to do, so much going on. The colours of the buildings are just 
all over the place. It just looks epic in every way. The only reason I would say that this one didn't get to number two or even number one is it's not modular. And in my opinion, if you're going to spend as much as you are doing on Diagon Alley, it possibly should be modular. But you can't have everything and it looks absolutely brilliant from the front. And it is a playset overall and it looks brilliant as a Harry Potter playset. So definitely worthy of third place. And 2020's number two spot goes to... And just missing out on the number one spot is another iconic vehicle from the 1980s. The Ghostbusters 18 plus version of Ecto-1. Now this one. What can be said apart from just the amount of awesomeness in this set? It is from the Ghostbusters movie Afterlife, which is yet to hit the theatres, but we can get a grasp of what's going on. We've got the seat that ejects out round the side and you get the and it spins the proton pack round. There's the trap that falls out the back. There's so much detailing in the engine. It's just all over. Detail, detail, detail. It just looks so good. There is a lot of stickers with the set, but you don't have to apply them all. If you want the clean look, don't apply the rust stickers. There are some key points in this set where they are printed pieces instead of stickers. So it's got that going for it. All in all, an amazing, amazing set. And only just missing out on the number one spot for 2020. And the number one spot in the Brit McBricksworth Top 10 2020 sets goes to... The Lego Ideas Pirates of Barracuda Bay. If a set could be scored from 0 to 10 of awesomeness, this set would be a 12. Because it is so cool as an island. There's so much going on. It's like a shipwrecked island that just looks so so good. It looks like the pirates have made the most of their time shipwrecked on the island. But the gem in this one's pocket is the fact that it can be changed into the Black Seas Barracuda pirate ship. And you still have part of the island that is not unusable to actually play with. So this one, I hope you will agree, is the number one set of 2020. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video of my personal top 10 sets of 2020. Now, is there any sets on there that you thought were worthy of that top 10 position? Give me a comment below. And if there's any sets I've missed on there you think were worthy of the top 10, also pop them in the comments below. If you like the video, please give us a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because there's plenty more LEGO content to come for your enjoyment. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful new year. See you in 2021. Brick McBricksworth signing off.